Hi everyone, welcome to Paw Paw's Workshop. Well, today is the experiment day. I'm taking my brand new Z-axis from CNC for a newbie and we're going to experiment with it. I want to just see how hard that I can push it and how fast that I can go. And it's pretty amazing. So let's get started. Today I'm testing out my new Z-axis from CNC for newbies. And what I'm doing is using an eighth inch bit to be able to do this carving. And I'm actually carving on MDF, which is a quarter inch thick. And I have that in place. I am going to be cutting all the way through this. Now what I'm actually carving is one of the pieces for my blast gates. And I've cut this before and typically what I do is use a speed rate of around 60 inches a minute. And you can see the cut settings here. And what I'm going to do is start with the 60 inches per minute and see if I can double that and go up to 120 inches for a minute and see how the machine reacts. Now the old piece of masonite that I was using as my auxiliary waste board is finally worn out and I have removed it. And today I'm trying something a little bit different. I got a scrap piece of the MDF and put it down and I did not screw it down or bolt it down. The only thing that I did is put my work piece on top of it and then clamp all of the material down at once. Now for my XY zero home position, I'm just going to go somewhere in this area. I don't really need to be in the absolute bottom right hand corner, but I need to be up in this area someplace. It's not critical because my workpiece is actually larger than what I actually need. Okay, I have the XY axis set and I'm going to go ahead and start to carve now, starting at 60 inches per minute and I'm going to increase that to 120. With the Z-Probe complete and the XY axis set, I've got the router turned on and it's going to go ahead and begin the carve. Now this is starting off at 60 inches per minute. And the first order is the drill operation for the holes. And now I'm actually increasing the speed and I'm moving it up to the 60 inches per minute where it will finish the drilling operation. And now I have it set at 120 inches per minute and it's very stable. Now I want to go ahead and zoom in and give an up close look so that you can see right where it is at 120 inches per minute. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time that I have run the x carve at this speed. And now I have to be able to say this is a modified x carve with this CNC for newbie Z-axis. And this is super stable. There is no movement, no chatter at all going at this rate. So I'm extremely happy with this. I absolutely love the fact that I can now speed up the carving process and literally cut my carving time in half and who knows, maybe more. So I'll be doing some more experimentation as time goes along. But I'm super excited about this. This is doing good. I know in times past when I even began to approach these kinds of speeds, the router would begin to chatter and affect the quality of the car. Not so with this CNC for newbie Z axis. This is solid as a rock. So in less than three minutes, it was able to carve this. And I know the last time that I carved these blast gates, it took twice the amount of time. I'm loving it. Okay, I just finished the carving and it did great. I don't think I have ever run this X-Carve and now a modified X-Carve at 120 inches per minute. And with this Z-axis, it did flawless. I did not have any chattering at all. 
In the past, with the old z-axis, oftentimes I would get a chattering. And one of the ways that I could solve that problem was to either slow down the speeds, or in some cases, I would literally put my hand on top of the router and put just a slight bit of pressure on it, and that would ease the chattering. Well today, as you can see in the video, there was absolutely no chattering whatsoever and it was going at a speed higher than I have ever run the X-Car. So I am really, really pleased so far with this Z-axis from CNC for newbie. I love it. This is literally going to cut my carving time in half at the minimum and I'm going to do some other tests also to see just what this is capable of. Now the next thing that I've done is opened up a file for the adapters that I have because I want to be able to step this up a notch and cut out some round adapters for my vacuum cleaner. And this is the two that I need and I don't need this one. Move this over and but what I want to be able to do is come up to the top left. I know you can't see it on the TV screen but I want to grab this square right here because I don't want to carve this particular adapter. So I'm just going to cover it up and change my depth of cut to zero. And I want to make sure that I verify that that is in fact zero because if it's a slight little bit of depth it will want to cut it. Now the other thing that I'm doing I just took a scrap piece of wood and it is five inches wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and set on my x-axis five inches and I'm going to change my height to let's say 15 inches and it's actually longer than that but that will work. And then from there I'm just going to highlight this one and slide it up into position. Now as far as my cut settings, my cut settings on this one is set at 40 inches a minute and it's set for birch plywood. And what I'm going to do is the same thing. Only this time I'm going to change my depth per pass and I'm going to increase that number. So let's go to custom and let's increase this to point zero seven. And I'm going to do this a little bit at a time because I really don't want to break a bit but I do want to push the machine harder. Plunge rate 9 inches per minute. I think I'm going to leave that alone for this and just see how this goes. Now I am cutting all the way through the material. So I'm going to leave this at, I think I'm going to change this to 0.76. And there we go. That's the settings that I'm going to use for this card. Now what I'm going to do on this, it's the same thing as I did before. It starts out at the 40 inches per minute and I want to be able to increase that and see if I can get to the 80 inches per minute. Now off camera I went ahead and did the Z probe and I set the XY axis to zero. And you'll notice that the bit's not exactly in the bottom left hand corner. Again, that's okay. I've got plenty of room. Now I'm starting off at the 40 inches per minute and I'm going to begin increasing the speed and move it all the way up to 80 inches per minute and I'm doing that actually fairly quickly. So at this point I'm at 80 inches per minute and it's still going through this harder material, through this plywood, it is not having any difficulty whatsoever. Now once this car is complete I'm going to check for the accuracy of the being a complete circle and not being a, a little bit of an oval. But from looking at it right now, yeah, it's 100%. It is doing a perfect circle and it's handling the 80 inches per minute with no problem whatsoever. So based on this, the next time I do a carve, I'm going to increase it even beyond the 80 inches per minute. With doing this first upgrade of the Z-axis by CNC for newbies, it's literally like having a brand new machine. Being able to do these types of speeds is absolutely amazing and I think it's fantastic. And I'm really amazed at the stability that the machine has 
with just the ZX upgrade without even continuing with the upgrades that I'm planning on doing. So if you have the X-Carve, I would certainly recommend being able to take the next step and upgrade the CNC machine to the Z-axis to begin with by CNC for newbies. You will not be disappointed. Now to finish these hose adapters, all I really need to do is just glue them together. And the best way to do that is to use the Starbond glue. And I'm using the Starbond Medium CA glue for this with the accelerator. And I've been using this now for quite a while and I absolutely love this product. And I do have a link in the description below so that you can purchase this. And the wonderful thing, it is a 15% discount for purchasing this glue. So all I need to do is just put a ring around it. I'm gonna spray this one. Then I'll stick the two together. Just like that, I've got a bond and it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hose. We'll plug this in. I'm gonna show you how easy it is just to make these adapters. This is wonderful. That fits in there nice and snug. It's perfect. And I'm using this to join two hoses together. So I'm gonna slip this over. There we go. That is a perfect fit. So this is going to be a great addition to the shop and it made it really, really easy using the X-Carve and the Z-Axis is working fantastic. So two successful tests so far. Now the last experiment that I'm going to do today, testing out the Z-Axis from CNC for newbies, is to use a 90 degree V-bit and I'm going to carve out the Army logo. So this is the logo that I'm going to carve out. And what I'm going to do again, I'm going to increase the speed significantly and be able to carve this. Now I'm starting this carve out at 30 inches a minute, which is the recommended speed. And if you know from my videos in the past, I usually run the X carve basically at the suggested speeds which is really quite slow. Now immediately started to increase this up to 60 inches per minute and it still did extremely well. Now this is still be done in multiple passes because it's a very shallow cut depth. So after watching this carve at 60 inches a minute, I couldn't go anymore. It just was too slow. So I stopped this carve in the middle of the uh, project and I'm going to readjust the settings. Okay, I went ahead and stopped it in the middle of the carve, and the reason being, this was carving at 60 inches a minute, and that was just too slow. There was no challenge at all. So what I did is stopped it, I reset this, and now I have it going at 80 inches a minute to begin with, and I'm gonna take it up from there. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I change the depth of cut to from the .028 to the point zero 0.06 and that is going to be able to do this in one pass rather than multiple passes. Let's see how that works. Okay now it's running at 80 inches per minute and I'm going to be increasing it still faster. This is still running too slow and again this is full depth. The other thing I wanted to realize the reason I'm not increasing the speed quite yet beyond this is this is covering the same uh, path as what it did the first time. And now I'm up to 136 inches per minute and it's cutting full depth and it's doing extremely well, no problems. So it's time to go up still further. Now I've increased it to 160 inches per minute and still solid as a rock. The machine's never been this fast before. So at 160 inches per minute, still smooth as could be, cutting a fine detail on these letters. 
and the only problem as I have is that the table itself is shaking but not the machine. So cutting full depth at 160 inches per minute it is taking the carve time from over 45 minutes down to just 15 minutes. That is a wonderful thing. And it's still solid, no chattering, no problems whatsoever with being able to carve. Like I said, the only problem that I'm having is the table itself is shaking and that's really not an issue. The X-Carve is handling this speed. And looking at how the star is cutting out where the machine has to cut a short distance and then make a hard turn, it is still doing extremely well. There is no slop, no chatter, and can't ask for anything any better. In fact, if I could increase it faster at this point, I think I would. Because I think it looks like 160 inches per minute is still too slow. So in just 15 minutes versus 45 minutes, I was able to carve the Army logo, and it looks great. Now this was 160 inches per minute. My machine has never ever gone that fast, and it's still rock solid. It looks great. Now keep in mind, if you look down in here, I could have done two-stage carving and used a flat bit, but I wanted to see what type of results I would get at these kinds of speeds using a V-bit and it is fantastic. So again if you're trying to make money with the X-Carve you really definitely need to modify it with the CNC for newbies Z-axis because just that one upgrade alone really cut down the time from over 45 minutes down to 15 minutes. I was able to do this at 160 inches per minute and I was able to carve this in one pass instead of doing multiple passes. Not bad. I think this was a total success. Total success. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also, check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.